Hello my dears, how are you today? I am Sara and I am your science teacher and today we are going to talk about bones and muscles which work together. First you should know that we have a map to our body. So let's talk about the map of the human body. We have something called seen parts. The seen parts are the parts that you can see with your eyes, such as your head, your arms, your legs. Those are the seen parts, and we have unseen parts. The unseen parts are the parts that are hidden inside your body, and you can see them with your eyes, such as your bones, your muscles, your uh, lungs, your stomach. Those are the unseen parts. So first, let's talk about our skeleton. As you can see, this is our skeleton. Our skeleton is made up of bones. So this is a bone, this is a bone, this is a bone, this is a bone, and this bone. All of those are bones. And all of those bones make our skeleton. Our skeleton can't move, can't move, we can't move without our muscles without our muscles so we need muscles and bones to move okay we need muscles and bone to move so our muscles are attached to our bones as you can see those are the muscles of our body and this is the bones of our muscles they are attached to each other's so we move when the muscles and the bones are attached to each other. Both muscles and bones work together, which allow us to move to do different activities. So you can run, you can walk, you can jump, you can eat, you can drink, you can sleep. All those activities, we can do all those activities when the bone and the muscle work together, okay? Both muscles and bones protect our soft organs. As you can see, inside our bones, there are something called soft organs, like the lungs, like the heart, like the stomach, like the intestine. All of those are soft organs. As you can see, the bones cover and protect those soft organs. So our muscles above the bones and our bones work together to protect our soft organs. Our skull acts like a helmet. This is a helmet, okay? So our skull acts like a helmet that protects our soft organ of our head such as our eyes and our brain. So this is the skull, and this is our brain inside our skull, and those are our eyes. So our skull protects our brain and our eyes. Our rib cage. We have something called rib cage inside our bodies. This is the rib cage, primary three. And the rib cage protects the soft organ of our chest, such as the lung and the heart. So, this is the rib cage. You can find your rib cage under your chest. When you put your hand on your chest, you will feel the rib cage. Under this rib cage, you will find the lungs and the heart. So, the rib cage protects your soft organ, such as the lungs and the heart. So this is your rib cage, and this is your heart, and those are your lungs. Both the heart and the lungs found inside your rib cage that you can find under your chest. So what are the soft organs that the skull protects? Can you tell me? Super, the soft organs of the skull are the brain and the eyes. What are the soft organs that the rib cage protects? Hmm. The soft organs of the rib cage are the lung and 
the heart super what is the skeleton made of our skeleton is made of bone super why do we need muscles and bones we need muscles and bones to do different activities as they work together that allow us to move and do different activities super this was our lesson for today i hope you enjoyed don't forget to like subscribe and share goodbye